Hi, my name is JT. I'm from SharksTeeth.com. Uh, our company supplies all the shark teeth for the Mike Harris Shark Tooth Ferry Hunt in Port Royal Sound at the Sands Beach. Uh, we throw about a thousand pounds of megalodon and other fossils in the water at high tide. And as the tide goes out, you and your families can pick out up the teeth. You can find more details on our website at SharksTeeth.com. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to wire wrap a shark tooth. Uh, some of the things that you'll need are wire, okay, and there's different sizes of wire. The, the higher the uh, gauge, the smaller the wire. So here I have a, a 24 gauge uh, down to a 16 gauge. I use this for my big teeth, but it's very hard to work with. It's stainless steel. You can get it at Lowe's. The rest of them you can get online at a, or at a craft store. Uh, I'm going to use the copper. I prefer to use the 20 gauge, but I'm going to use the copper because it's easier for you to see. Uh, the tools that I'm using today are the needle nose pliers and some cutters. Uh, I brought these out to show you. These are needle nose pliers that have teeth. These you don't want to use for your wire because you're going to burr it up. You, you want to use these type that you can find at a craft store or online. It has no teeth and it's flat. All right, And these are the cutters that I'm going to use today to cut my wire. So the first thing you want to do when you're wire wrapping a tooth, and the first, the first uh, way I'm going to show you is a very uh, basic wrap. Come around here, Johnny. And I'll show you. So you want to measure out five times the length of the tooth for this wrap. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to cut it right about there. All right, I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to split the difference. And then I'm going to make my bail, which is just a few twists. Now this is a Mako. The Mako is very um, oh smooth inside. It doesn't have serration, so it's easy for the wire to um, slip off. So you want to look for like little notches here that you can hook your wire to. Or if you got serrations like on a Megalodon, it's a lot easier for your wire to grip. I'm going to use a Mako for this one. Uh, so I have a piece of wire on each side of the tooth. I'm going to take this one, I'm going to come around the back, and then I'm going to make one tight wrap around it, that's all I need there. Then I'm going to come through on the other side, through the back, and then I'm going to start wrapping coils or rope around the bale. I'm going to try to do that nice and neat. You can use pliers to make it even tighter. Okay, and then I'm going to cut off my excess here, and I'm going to leave this excess here. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that later. But now I have my basic wrap here, okay, and if I want to make it tighter, see it's kind of loose here, I can come to the back. Grab it here and I can crimp it. I'm going to turn it in, making a design, and that's going to tighten it on the tooth. There's another one. Tighten that like that. So it tightens on the edge there. Okay, I can also do that in the front if I want to make a design. So here, I'm going to make one over on this side as well. All right, that's what I got here so far. All right, and I'm going to take this excess, and what I'm going to do with that excess is I'm going to make a, a flower or a spiral. I've got some examples here. This is one where I had excess. The other excess I just cut off, you can put a, a, a rose here, and you can put a rose here. I'm just going to do one here. And here's some other examples that you can look at that we've done. They're all pretty similar. Okay. So I'm going to cut a little more off of this here. And I'm going to turn one coil like this. And then you take your pliers out. You need to make that coil neater if you want. And I'm just going to spin it in like this. And 
Now I can either put this in front of the tooth like this so. Okay, or I can bring this down and put it in front of the tooth like this. Okay, and then if I want to fancy up the bale a little bit, I can make a little twist. It's all sorts of things you can do with the wire. I mean, there's all sorts of things you can wire with it. You can wire wrap rocks and, you know, other bones and stuff like that. Okay, but that's my basic wrap right there. The next one I'm going to make is uh, with a bale. This is probably the, the best wrap and the most secure wrap so that you don't lose your tooth. I'm going to need a little bit more wire. I'm going to go six times the length of the tooth for this uh, wire wrap. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to cut it right about there. All right, again, I'm going to split the difference. Make my bale, and then I'm going to twist it. One, two, three, four. You can do it four or five times, as many as you want to do it. Okay. And where did my tooth go? It's right here. Okay. So I have one piece of wire on each side of the tooth, and I'm going to go to the edge. I'm going to do something different here. This is where my bale comes in, and I'm going to twist this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's what I got right now, so far. Okay, now we're going to come across the tooth. Right here. And we're going to do five more twists. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, it should be about the same length as the other side. And we can even that up a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to push my bale back to where it was. I'm going to come around the front. And I'm going to tie that off. I just really need one twist on that. Okay. Nice and tight. Okay, now I'm going to take my other wire, and I'm going to come around, I'm going to make my spiral and my rope up my bale. And I'm going to lay these on top of each other, nice and tight. Again, if you want it even neater and tighter, you can use your needle nose pliers. Okay, so I have my X's here. Yeah, I can make another design like I just showed you with a road. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to cut the back off here. And that's the finished product there. Now, same thing, you can make this look a little bit nicer. I'm going to make a, just a, a V down the center. Okay, I got a little point there. And then I'm going to put a design here in the corner. And that's how you wire wrap a tooth. Uh, when you're at our shark tooth hunts uh, and you find teeth, uh, we're, we're going to try to have somebody down there 2019 at our next hunt who's going to show you how to wire wrap. Uh, and we'll have uh, wire there and we'll have the, the tools. Uh, if you would like to join our hunt, uh, the Mike Harris Shark Tooth Fairy Hunt in Beaufort, Port Royal, at the Sands Beach, uh, look on our website for details and we can point you, point you in the right direction. Uh, please like this video, share this video, and please make it to our hunts.